We really care about food justice issues and the community here in Portland. People's Food Co-op in Southeast Portland is more than just a grocery store. We have 14,000 member owners um, that you know live in the in the area. Welcoming on the inside and good work happening on the outside. Then when I see it come to life, um, I'm always really excited about it. Alex Chu is a Portland painter and muralist. His focus this week is on the bigger picture. The way that I approach murals is trying to send a message or make people aware of something. The mural eye-catching. Its purpose, not as obvious. To celebrate a one particular person and to remind people of um, what their buying power is and to remind people about the ethics of, of food and, and trade and food justice. People's Food Co-op was one of three businesses selected nationwide for Fair Trade America's mural campaign. The nonprofit works for ethical farming practices from fair wages to equitable trading. Charlotte Clement of the co-op is proud to be a part of the network. And I know that our community will be really excited and happy and proud that this exists. Featured in this mural is Deborah Osei Mensa, a cocoa farmer from Ghana committed to fair trade practices. Deborah supplies cocoa to Tony's Choco Lonely, which is a product that we carry in the store. I like the aspect of connecting people who are buying food with um, who it's made by and where it's coming from. Alex is Chinese American. He and his family have shopped here for years. It's a place that is uh, very sentimental to us and we really like how the business is done and we like how they work with local businesses here. The other two murals are in Atlanta and Milwaukee, Wisconsin. This one will be unveiled Wednesday, October 5th. The campaign aims to make a difference in the lives of farmers and show shoppers the weight of their buying power. I hope that people can kind of just in their mind be able to connect what they're buying from where it's coming from and then to kind of share that message with the public. In Southeast Portland, John Goodwin, KGW News.